What's good? I'm going to be talking about my team I have in BBL, because it's a draft league I've got into. Uh, it's a National Dex Ubers Draft League. I know obviously it won't be using this format, but I'm just putting there to show the mods and the moves up. Now, I had a pretty late pick in the draft. I believe my pick in the draft was 14th, so... You're gonna think, oh, 14th pick, you're not getting the top kind of power mons, but you're gonna get something good. And I did get something good. I think the best thing left at the time I drafted was Megalucario. Because if we look at the dock, there were like 40 points, 30 points on it. Because I'm not spending 40 points, but for 30 points, I'll take a Megalucario. So I got one of these. Um, yeah, incredible stabs of adaptability pretty good speed here. Just seems like a solid first mon and seems fairly easy to build around because all you want to be doing with this thing is just firing off some of these. Like all you want to be doing is finding a matchup where you can click these two. And obviously 30 point Ubers in this league you can pair with another Uber. So I'm thinking what uber likes someone who can click fighting and steel move? If I can kill fairies, normals, darks, and steels, there's only one uber I could pick with that. Dragapult. Let's see those fairies dead, those darks dead, those normals dead. And Dragapult just goes kinda ham. These two together seems pretty nice. I free up the ghosts, the darks, the fairies, the steels. Now, normally you think with Ubers, you do it the other way around. You'd want the weaker one to support the bigger one, but Dragquat's pretty fast, so I, I quite like it this way. And I do kill bulky psychics. I can hit slower ghosts, so I can still hit close combats. I mean, not that I really need that. I do have Dark Boss Crunch on this guy, but these four moves are what I want to be clicking. And nice abilities, nice speed here. It's considered the best Pokemon in normal draft. Yeah, it's considered an Uber here, but... It's a cool guy. I think I've never drafted Dragapult. I think this will be fun to use. And as I have less experience with Ubers, Dragapult's more of a easy to build around Pokemon. But like I've never even used Mega Lucario on ladder, let alone draft league. So this thing should be fun. And then these two seem like a pretty good uber pairing, so I'm quite happy with this. Obviously Dragapult was easier to get, because being 14th pick, I'm nearish the wheel. And then I had to wait ages for it to come back to me. So I thought, let me try and support these two defensively now. How do you support Dragapult? You give him a Mandibuzz. It's just, it's like a cheat code. Everyone knows that. You draft Dragapult, pick up Mandibuzz. You're good. Need something to come in Shadow Ball, Dark Pulse, you're fine. Obviously Fairy, I have three guys here who don't really Fairy yet, but that's all good. I can get rid of Hazards, so this guy is not locked to Boots. This guy won't get ruined by Spikes, because obviously he can't run Boots. There is Pursuit in this league, so... Dragapult will need to be careful. But, who cares, Dark Type comes in on Pursuit, this guy comes in, hopefully claims KO, so... Not too mad about that. But yeah. Mandibuzz just seems to be pretty good at coming on everything that kills Dragapult other than Ice and Dragon, but if I aggressively switch Lucario on them, I'm fine. And Lucario, I mean, if, if I'm being threatened out by a ground move, I can go Mandy. Threatened out by a fighting move, I can go Dragapult. By a fire move, I can pivot Dragapult, but it's not really what you want to do. But yeah. These are the first three solid, and then Pig came back to me quite soon. I picked up my favorite fairy type, Primarina. I love this thing. It's bulky, it's offensive. It's exactly what you want in a draft. Like the way Dragapult's considered so good because it just does everything. Primarina, in a way, is like that. You need a like a rocky helmet, max for this stuff. It's bulky enough to pull it off. You need a specs breaker, it can pull it off. Need some surprise scarfer. It's kind of fast enough to pull it off. Wouldn't recommend it, but you can do it. You can do a lot with a Primarina. That's why it's one of my favorite fairies. 
I don't normally like the whole idea of roll compress, just get all your main rolls on like 2-3 Pokemon, but it's a Pokemon that I do think can pull off Bulky Water and Fairy type pretty well for a team. I used it before and I like this thing. Now, I actually have a one that comes in with Dragon Moves and Ice Moves for Dragapult now, so paired with Mandibuzz, I feel like it supports my stuff quite well. Lucario, if it's scattered by ground move, go Mandibus, by fire move, go prim, by fighting move, go prim. Dragapult scattered by ghost move, I can go Mandibus, an ice move, I can go Primarina, a dragon, I go Primarina, a dark, I can go either of them. I just have outs now for everything, other than fairy type, where I can't really go prim, it's bulky, but other than a fairy type, I feel like I've got a really good switch in to the things that threaten out these two at this point. So of course the next thing I need is a fairy type switch in, and we have Jirachi, who is one of my Terra captains, so I can Terra it, I can Terra my Jirachi into any type, I mean it is a steel type, so... <coughs> you need a second steal with Lucario in my opinion, you don't want to be switching this into Moonblast, I mean this doesn't even resist it, or Draco, so... You need a second steel, and I got a good second steel in Jirachi. I was thinking I'd uh, pick up something near the lower end, because it's only a second steel type, but no, I really felt like going for Jirachi was kind of big here, because now I actually have hazards. Done. Well, it's not done, but I have some sort of hazard call. I got a defog, I got a rocker. And Jirachi has a move pool. It has a lot that it can do. Stealth Rock, T-Wave, U-Turn, Wish, Trick Room... It's got, it's got like, uh, what's the setup thing? Cosmic Power, Doom Desire if you want to run that, Serene Grace, Ancient Power if you really don't think you're winning a game, everyone's favourite Iron Head, Body Slams, gen Shenanigans, anyone like me who plays Gen 4 hates this thing. Main reason I drafted this, so I'm not against it. I hate this thing, but it does the same as the others. Switch in for Dragapult on the ice, on the. Uh, Dragon moves as well, Super Marina, just to kind of do the same thing in a way when it comes to switching in for Dragapult. But if I don't want that Psychic there, because obviously I need to come in on like a Shadow Ball or a Dark Pulse, I can just go pure Steel. If I need a, say they have a good Poison fighting, like say I'm against a Sneasler and I don't want this to come in to fighting types, I can just Terra this to be a pure onto a type. I can get rid of the secondary weakness. I could be a pure water type. I could do anything like that I need with Terra for this. Because these base stats, 100 everything. 100 everything, huge move pool. I feel like that's perfect for a Terra captain because I can make this thing do what I want to. It's like a Mew at home kind of thing. It's not It's not a Mew, but it can do a lot. It has decent spread of base stats, any type. I like the idea of that. So. Then I got Jirachi here, and at this point I'm liking this because th this is offensive, this is offensive, this is defensive, and these can do either. So I, I like the versatility of my mama so far, and something I still do need is a ground because my only resi resist to electric is Dragapult, and these two are both weak to it, so if I'm against an electric, something that's electric fighting, talk iron hands, I got no switching. So I need a ground type, something that comes in on ground, I got Quagsire, now I know I have Primarina here, so gra I mean, Grass, both these guys can probably come in on Grass types, Brem can come in, Jirachi can come in, and yes there are Terra Captains, they can pick one of their Terra Captains to be Terra Grass, Terra Blast if they want, so Quagsire is not going to be too perfect on the unaware, but it's a good ground type. Water's one of the best types to have two of, if you are doubling up on types. Let's go ground type, and this gen got hazards, so... We got the spikes, we got the stealth rocks, but... I mean, the spikes and toxic spikes. We now have a T-spiker in Quagsire here, so... That's pretty fun. And... Along with that... It's just a solid one. Water absorb if I need it. Not that I need it for anything I have at this point, really, but it's just a solid hazard spammer. That's what we really needed this for. Now, so Haze, unaware, impossible to set up on. And that's the thing, as long as we're like 
unaware, we can press haze every now and then. No one will be able to get up to enough speed to outspeed pole. And I think this guy's got his... He's got his share, he's got his bullet punch. I don't know if he has map punch, but... We got priority on this guy. Doesn't have map, but no, bullet punch and extreme speed. So we got priority on this guy, so... It doesn't matter if they do boost speed, but this guy's stopping setup's pretty fun. I love Quagsire. The rules have no hidden power, but Terra Captains at 25 points worth, no Pokemon above 18 points is the ruling on that. But yeah, just like having Quags out here, I think it's a solid Mon. I don't mind the 4 times weakness, because obviously I have Mons I can get in on Grass. So I think Quags are pretty solid. And at this point, I'm really thinking this might only switch into Fairy. And where are my fighting switches? It's just Primarina. Pole needs to be aggressive. So I kind of want something that resists fighting. Yeah, again, because I'm getting a fighting weakness. And a fairy. Now, all we need to do that is Crobat. I got a Crobat. Has a full trader, which is decent, but not the best ability in the world, but still a useful one. Gives me another defog along with Mandibuzz. I mean, Mandibuzz can obviously take psychic moves for it, and it can come in on like Toxic, so and Moonblast, so they don't they don't overlap too much. I like having both of them. It's fast. Another Haze Mon, which is always fun. Decent physical or special move pool. We all love Poison Fang. It's like the least reliable Toxic in the world, but we love it. Pursuit. I don't really ever see it running Pursuit because. Base 19 on stab, you gotta be that kind of person to try and trap a psychic type with this. A ghost type, possibly, but who knows. Roost, of course, Super Fang, Tailwind, Taunt, U turn. It's, that's the main reason I say. Switch on fighting, switch on fairy, U turn. Spread toxics, and U turn. That's all Crobat's here for, but that's that's a good roll. Spreading toxics, same as T spikes and this thing. If I'm running a hex bolt, they're gonna like that. So, I like having these guys. And after Crobat, I realized I'm still kind of weak ish to ground. Obviously, my Jirachi can terror, but I need a good ground switch in for Lucario. I've got Mandy and I've got a Crobat, which is good having two flyings, but obviously, both being flying, they're both weak to ice, they're both weak to electric, they're both weak to rock. So, I was thinking. About time I need a grass type. And also, my only switch into ghosts are Mandibuzz. So what if that is a like Marsh Shadow? Or like a big obviously I have Dragapult, one of the best ghosts. But there are there are ghosts out there that can beat Mandibuzz. Like Spectria has Draining Kiss now. So I need something that can come in on ghosts. And I also need something that comes in on grounds. And Nice little roll compression in a Pokemon I don't know too much about. Never used this, not on ladder, not in draft. But I'll believe it. It's slow, which is cool. Especially bulky, really cool, because most ghost types are clicking a shadow ball. Not poltergeist, but base 90 is good enough for that. And it's not passive with a special attack stat. If I get hit, I get up grassy terrain, which can be cool for Lucario getting some recovery and not getting one shot by an earthquake hopefully same on jirachi so i like that ability and obviously grassy terrain would be kind of cooler but it's got moves dazzling gleam earth power loaded grass coverage and of course you just have terror blast if you really want but this isn't a terror captain does it not have hyper voice yeah i got a hyper voice that's what it was is it's normal stab so just think normal, fairy, ground, grass. That's what you really need. You can fire off your stabs. If you are fighting like a Heatran, catch it with the power to switch in. It's got some source. It doesn't have the widest move pool, but it only really needs to come in on a ghost type. If it is a Marsh Shadow, I can scare out of a dozen beam, except I'm not scaring out Marsh Shadow because I'm weak to fighting. But you get the point. I have a little bit of coverage for possibly a second types of ghosts, and if they don't resist my stabs, like I'd struggle with a Trevenant, but 
My team is not going to struggle with a Trevenant. It's a Trevenant. I have a Mandibus. But it's there for the ghosts. And it can do enough with its stabs. It doesn't need coverage. It's got Leech Seed. It's got Giga Drain. It has some source like Strength Sap and Encore. Trailblaze if I'm really feeling it. So I like this thing. And also Pollen Puff for that rare time you need bug coverage. It's a good enough mon. Is a raw compression, but I feel like it just does help as a secondary ground resist to a flying type. And well, if we're against the Zygarde, Crobat won't want it. Quagsire, I guess, would be the switch in, even though it doesn't resist ground. But I believe I can come in with D Gleam and do, it, do his thing. It's a decent, decent grass and normal type. At this point, I'm thinking, what do I need? And I'm thinking, I've just pulled two grasses, no, two waters and one grass. And I still kind of want ice resist. I got Primarina Jirachi. And what else do I need resist to? Again, Primarina, Quagsire, both waters and a Jagabot's not resist. Fire type, I'm thinking let's get a fire type. Let's resist those things. Ices, fires, don't really need grass resist, but I got Quagsire so I want them. So we're going with an Arcanine. I love this thing. Intimidate, flash fire, two brilliant abilities. Intimidate just to make it a bit bulkier, switching that bit easier. And flash fire in case we're against something like Keytran, Volcarona, etc. Where even a resisted fire move is going to chunk us. Just coming to flash fire. Like, no big deal. 90 HP, 80 80. With Intimidate, it's slightly physically bulkier. Solid Mon, 95, decent speed tier. And good both attacks. A really well rounded base stats total and spread. I like this thing. Obviously, it might like boots quite a lot with fire, but it can run a lot of items. Offensive or defensive, great coverage, close combat, another e speeder, along with the big guy Lucario. All my flame charge in case I need those speed, but all the fire stops here. Has cases for running flame for a fire blast or running flare blitz flame charge. You can run any of them. Random dragon pulse could be funny on, say, like a salamence. Thinks they're just gonna flame throw it here. I can come in, dragon pulse, get fun. Now I can get fun. I like having this move here because no one actually checks it. No one's sitting there on the builder like, oh, I need to prep my uh, dragon type for Arcanine. Like, sure, you might fear Will O Wisp, or Play Rough, or Outrage, but you don't expect Dragon Pulse. Unfortunately, it's not the Breath one that has Power Chance because that's even more fun, but. Also, Psychic Fang is like. Screw you, Toxpack, screw you, whoever thinks I'm not going to carry that, I can carry it. Raging Fury, I think this is a new move. It's literally fire type outrage. Which sounds kind of fun. I'm thinking at least some point in the series, I need to, in the league, I need to run Flash Fire. I need to get in on a fire type move, get that boost, and Raging Fury of a choice band. I want to try that. That was fun. And then Raw, just for all the defensive things again, and Teleport. This thing gets uh, Morning Sun for healing. So Morning Sun, Teleport, Toxic, Will-O-Wisp. It's got all those annoying defensive stats moves, and then Outrage, Raging Fury, Flare Blood, CC. This thing's like a menace, defensively and offensively. Really good fire type. Really surprised I got it this late in the draft, and just a solid mon to have. Now at this point I'm thinking, I, I, I've already decided, yeah I want Jirachi as a Terra Captain, nothing's 14 points, we had 25 points for Terra, so I'm looking down, I'm like, okay I need something 11 or below, I can just be a menace with Terra, and I found something, now facilitating these two is obviously my top priority, I want Lucario and I want Dragapult to be able to do whatever they want. I want them to have the most freedom possible. And how do you free up mons like these? You break. These things are both fast, you need a breaker. A breaker with terror for like 10 or 11 points. You know what's really, really hard to switch into? Rock types. We picked up 
big, I can't type, iron thorns, big rock electric. He's got the moves. He unfortunately does not have a picture loading on the screen for some reason. But this guy, you know what he runs. You won't know what he does. He's got crunch in case he wants to pretend he's actually Tyranitar. I've somehow disconnected. That's why there's no picture. But he's got crunch DD. Y you can just pretend you're a Gen 4 Tyranitar if you want. You can run dragon moves if you want. You can run break break if you're against a real Tyranitar. You have fire coverage, steel coverage, ice coverage, of course your rock coverage, spikes and stealth rocks in case you want to be a secondary. Had to set a torn SD sub because you need it. Vault switch because obviously you need it. T wave or your Elijah coverage, Thunder Punch, Wild Charge. And just dumb stuff like electric terrain, area impulse, dig. Because of course you need it. Even though it's down here on the usually useless moves, pin missile can be fun. Just in case some, I guess, grass thing thinks it will come in on electric move. Not too sure when that happens, but we all know the set you see on ladder. DD, Rock Blast, sometimes even pin missile, but often earthquake. And then Terror Blast with loaded dice. This is the set you often see on ladder, and that's kind of why I like this guy. Pin Missile, Rock Blast, Terror Blast, and he is one of my Terror Captains. So I picked this guy up just because I wanted a new Terror Captain that's actually threatening with it. On ladder you see Terror Flying in case you need to lose your 4 times Earthquake weakness. You see Terror Fairy in case you're trying to kill something, your stabs don't kill. You could even run just Terror Electric to make it double stab and break bulky waters, but Rock Blast, really good stab rock move. Whatever's coming in on Rock Blast, probably doesn't like Earthquake. Happy I got this, especially this. Eight. No, one, no one happened to pick it up. I think Iron Thorns is possibly the most underrated of the Paradox Pokemon. Now, I know I hate the word underrated, but everyone just says, well, it's like Tyranitar, but it's not as good as Tyranitar. Very different role. Dragon Dance Tyranitar is like an afterthought. It's like a set you run because people don't expect it. Outside of like Gen 5 or when Mega came out and it was actually like a solid pick. But a nice little DD Iron Thorns can do a lot of damage. Also even SD if you really want it. This thing has a lot of power. 70 special attack. It doesn't like to run mixed as well as I guess Tyranitar does. But... It's faster. That's what's important. It's faster. So, this thing, unlike Tyranitar, see, you, you just you can run Adamant and be as fast as a Jolly Tita. You can run Jolly, and there you go. You actually hit faster. So, I like this thing. Very good Dragon Dancer. Really good Terra Captain for 10 points, meaning I do have one left for a one pointer. Now, at this point, I'm thinking I have three points left for one or two Pokemons. Now, what does this team miss? What is this team lacking? And I was thinking like, I feel like I've got everything I'm realistically going to bring often. The only thing I do wish I had was a good Pursuit Trapper just to get rid of other ghosts for Dragapult. But then again, as long as my Dragapult getting pursued is more of a worry than me pursuing opposing ghosts, and I feel like as Dragapult's an uber ghost, I don't think there's many ghosts out there as strong or important as Dragapult. So it's more Dragapult getting pursued that is worrying her, so I'm, I'm not going to bother. I pursue that ghost first. I have a better, probably faster ghost in the late game. I need to keep mine up. I don't need to pick off theirs. So... As much as I would love picking them off so I can just CC freely. Stab the ability, Meteor Mash, Stab, Crunch, or Dark Pulse. Well, not Stab, but Super Fire, Dark Pulse, Crunch. This thing, this thing just doesn't care. It can kill ghosts. So, I'm thinking, what don't I have? One thing I'm slightly, slightly not the happiest about is Crobat being an off the ground poison. So, I'll pick up my Grounder Poison in Mark. 
just in case there are any teams that I really fear would roll me with T spikes. I mean, Primarina, Dragapult, Quagsire, I'll believe her. Arcanine's probably boots. Iron Thorns, he just DDs, goes till he dies. He's not, he's not a guy who stays around. I'm not the weakest Toxic Spice. Ikaru does not care. Mandibuzz doesn't care. Jirachi doesn't care. Kurobat doesn't care. I'm not. I'm not the worst. Arcanine's probably booed. Like, I'm not the worst against T spikes, but it's just nice to have a ground of poison on the team to maybe disincentivize someone bringing them. Just makes my hazard game slightly easier, possibly. Even if I don't bring Mark, realistically, Crowbat as a poison offers more utility. But never underestimate Mark. I've seen this guy just poison everything. I've seen him run like AV and just be hard to kill. I've seen it run Pain Split and just stick around. Random coverage like on Moonblast can be funky on it. Gunk shots can hit hard. Solid ground of poison. For two points, I thought the ability to have a ground of poison on my team for two points. Probably more than I'd get out of many other one or two or three pointers. Remember, I only spent 24 out of my 25 Terra Captain's budget. So I'm looking, I need a one pointer. And my one pointer, no matter what it is, is going to be able to Terra because I don't need that point for anything else. So, of course, we all know what it's going to be a one point that can Terra. We all love a bit of Diglett. It's just Arena Trap, Terra Ground, Banded, or Scarf if you even need that, Earthquake. And this thing, this thing can pick stuff off. Though, Diglett is considered best for like trapping Steel, Switch. I have Mega Luke, I don't really need that. But, in my opinion, what Diglett's best for is not actually trying to pick off or kill trap a steel. I think this thing's just solid for forcing some chip. Because if you switch into a banded Terra Ground Earthquake, sure it has lowish attack. After the choice band it has decent attack. After the Terra Stab Earthquake, it does damage, it does chip. Suppose I'm facing an opposing team and it's like I need to chip their AV prim for my Dragapult. Terra Ground banded earthquake. That's big chip. Like, that's enough damage to put something in a KO range. Say I needed it, yeah, like, go with the example I'm against a Primarina, obviously I'm not going to be. So maybe maybe a Slow King, say. I will hopefully do enough, that's a bad example, because it will re regen it off, but I need to chip on something quickly. I can sack Diglett, get the chip I need, so it'll be in range of Lucario. That's why Diglett's there. It's not to trap ground um, steel types, like you'd normally run like a Magnazone or a Dug Trio wanting to trap steels for something. Diglett can trap more than that. I could trap fires, I guess. I could trap rocks, but it's just there for chip. It's there for a little bit of force, you know? Someone might run Shed Shell Packs for Diglett. They might not, but it's just enough to put a little pressure on, and it's a one point that I can actually bring. <coughs> So yeah, that is my whole team. Now, I feel like a lot of my building is more uh, Dragapult than Lucario, but with like Mandibuzz obviously being a great path for Dragapult, it also pairs decently with Lucario. Obviously being a flying type that doesn't resist fighting, I got a curve out for Lucario later, so I feel like my team covers itself quite well. Um, I don't think anyone is doing uh, like power rankings, sorry about that. So I just did this video myself like this. But I would probably say my team is, I'd say at least in the top half of the draft. So if we view my team here in uh, Bullhawk's prep doc, where you can see obviously all the abilities, the Terra Captain's highlighted in purple, you'll see the speed tiers now. I think these things are overrated, but I still try and make them good. 
I have too much at the top, not enough near the middle, but 35, 39, jump of 4, that's not great. Jump of 11 is good, 10, 12. Man Buzz isn't running speed, so unfortunately, 72 to 95 is a bit of a gap. They might run a little one like a low speed running base 80, but unfortunately, between Arcanine and Iron Thorns, there is nothing. Like, let's not really count Diggler because that doesn't come often. Mandibuzz, let's not really count that because that doesn't run speed. 72 to 95 is the biggest gap, which is pretty horrible. But then we've just got 100, 112, 130, 142. So, what we like about this top part is their fastest mons might not be running adamant because, say, you're a base 130, say you're a Tapu Koko. As much as Tapu Koko, if they're in flying types, Crobat can hit you back, so you don't want a Crobat out speeding your Koko and, say, sludge waving it. So, hopefully. We even though we have our Dragapult to our speed it, we can force like a max speed on a Coco or something. Say like a Jolteon won't be able to our speed. Won't be like, well I'm not a speeding pult, so I'll just go for Mega Luke. Crobat can force a bit extra speed out of things. Those base hundreds might want to tie Jirachi, say you're a Victini, you don't want me just you turning out on you, you want your V crate landing. Maybe they might run Scarf against me, or they'll just go for a speed tie instead of going Adamant, or just try and out-creep Arcanine. I think these are good enough speed tiers. Obviously Dragon Dance being a threat on Iron Thorns. Jirachi can run Choice Scarf. You don't really ever run Scarf Pulp, but Jirachi's probably the most standard Choice Scarf on my team. Which with Terra, I can do that Scarf Flinch stuff, but just take even less flinches if I just Terra Steel, Iron Head, Iron Head, Iron Head. Take them more than normal. Pretty, pretty disgusting set, but I can pull it off with Terra and be even more annoying than always. So, I feel like I, I've got good enough speed tiers, a reliable Scarfer, with Trick as well, which is huge. If we look at types, it's, it thinks Ice is one of our biggest weaknesses because our Believer, Mandibuzz, Diglett, Crobat, Pulp. No, let's face it, Diglett, everything is a weakness. You have no bulk. So, if we're going to take one away from that. Crobat and Mandibuzz, yeah, they both share weakness to Ice, but Arcanine and... Primarina are both going to come to a lot of my games, can both be defensive, so I'm okay with that ice weakness there. Obviously, freeze dry is pretty pretty rough, but I have my Jirachi and my Arcanine, and if I'm really aggressive, Mega Lucario. I feel like that's one of the things that is good about my Uber pair, is that they do kind of cover weaknesses. Yeah, you've got to be aggressive to bring those sorts of things in. But, that chance is there. Close combat is much harder to hit on Mega Lucario when Dragapult's a real threat. If you want Scarf CC me with, say, like a low tier fighting, like a Hitmonchan or a Sork, what if I go Pult is in your mind? Yeah, you'd think Crobat comes in being a 4 times resist. But there's a threat there. Same with fight, fire moves. Dragapult can get in. I want to ice move my Dragapult. Megalute can get in. Even if I don't do it, just the threat there makes moves harder to click. Even if I am weak to ice, supposedly. And see ground, even with picking up our Believer. I only picked up Muck as a two pointer. Muck shouldn't be coming that much. And do, having a four times in Iron Thorns. Yes, he can Terra, same as Jirachi, is two times a week, but it can Terra. I do have what looks like quite a big ground weakness, although there's only Crobat, Mandibuzz off the ground, and our Believer. Our Believer can come in on Earthquake and sub Grassy Terrain for the rest of the team to not be as weak to it, but yeah, with Muck not coming too much, two of them being up to Terra, and two Flyers. I'm not too worried about this ground weakness I do have, but 
is obviously something I will have to address in building in matchups against good grounds like a Zygarde or Excadrill I'm going to have to do something but we, could, we can do that we have the tools that's the thing you don't want a team with no weakness you want a team with tools that let you beat your weakness that's the thing about draft it's good to have a weakness because when you know your weakness you can build around it you can prepare for it you can deal with your weakness because you know it that's what I like about this team. It does have weaknesses, but it has tools. So, also Psychic. Not the best resist Psychic. I mean, again, Muck's not coming too much. But Mandibuzz and Jirachi. Say you're a Psychic type, you're a Reuniclus. You can run Psychic Thunder, and then Jirachi can wall you. You can run Psychic Shadow Ball, and then Mandibuzz can wall you. If you're running, like, a load of those moves, you're not really going to have too much to beat everyone. So, I do only have two resists to Psychic, but who threatens out Psychic? Popped. So, I'm okay with that. Psychic, I feel like, is something that does need to be addressed. Say a Lele. Have to bring Spadef Jirachi, what else do I have? There, there are some... There are some psychics I can't struggle with because obviously not everything only gets one of Shadow Ball or Thunderbolt, as I said, but it can be addressed. Same as Ghost. I feel like my biggest strength when it comes to Ghost is that I probably have a better Ghost. Obviously, can't switch in, but my Ghost can threaten out their Ghost because Dragapult is the fastest. So, when it comes to Ghost, I have Mandibuzz and Art Believer. Which, we all know how Ghost type is very strong in Ubers. I'm simply relying on my Ghost being better. That's what I'm doing. We see a lot of immunities around here as well, which is very fun to have this many immunities on a team. You don't often see that many, but I do have all 12 mons, so that's kind of why. But yeah, I feel like this team, if we look at the average stats, one thing we do see is it does have average physical attack better than special attack. But that's including Dragon Ball being better at physical, which of course it runs special just as well, if not more, when it's not a Terra Captain. So I don't feel like that's a weakness. A lot of that is from things like Crobat, Arcanine, Diglett, Mandibuzz, like a lot of that is on Pokemon, like again, Muck. Like, it's not huge. I can run specially offensive on both my Ubers, Jirachi, Arcanine, and then Primarina, I believe, are special powerhouses, so I really don't fear that at all. So, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with having a physical bias because my special mons are good. And like I said, my average speed 84. If I only had a base 84 on the team. I have a lot at the top, some pretty slow guys, not much in the middle, but we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Hazards, I got four Stealth Rockers, Diglett's not ever really coming Stealth Rock, I guess I could delete Sash Rocks, but why would I do that? So we got, we got some Rockers, Spikers, Toxic Spikers, again, another good thing about picking up Muck, no Rapid Spinner, unfortunately, with Good, good hazards, but no spinner. Two defog is both flying types. Again, it could be exploitable, but a lot of teams are in that position a lot of the time. Really good momentum, a lot of U-turners, a flip turner, a teleporter. Good priority, E-speed bullet punch, from those actually possibly running it. Sucker punch pole on a physical set. A lot of taunts. Only one knockoff being a mandibuzz is unfortunate. Especially if facing like boot spam stall, but I don't think anyone's got that. You like having a lot of knockoffs, but we have a lot of thieves, so. Well, we could make some use of that. We have a lot of. We have some trapping, don't really see myself using much of those, but. We have decent phasing actually. Mostly from just the Arcanine, and obviously flying as if they want to run it. We love Super Fang. We love this guy. Crobat's the only thing going on here, really. If 
I have a final Gambit Mega Lucario, someone please punch me. Ban me from draft if I ever run that. Some some nice some nice powers. A lot of toxics, but every team has that. Good will o whisper. Nice yawn. And then we're going down into the options for screens. The screens pole is a good thing. I believe we can do it, you actually can do it. That's all fun. But then a lot of these doubles moves. Beat up pole. I do have a higher physical bias if we look at the stats. So beat up pole. That could come. That could come. A lot of rain dances on my team. Unfortunately, no abusers. Even more sunny days. Again, unfortunately, not many abusers. Uh, setup wise, some two good dragon dancers and sword sense mega luke. Definitely a huge threat with E speed, bullet punch, and then just CCs. Carmine on Primarina Jirachi, that's a good setup. Nasty Plot Crobat can be good. Obviously, Cosmic Power. Good thing about Jirachi is Cosmic Power immune to Toxic. And the fact, the fact I can Terra if I need to just take like an Earthquake is awesome. Iron <laughs> Defense on this guy is fun. No Rock Polish, but Agility Sweepers. You see, I like this. I like this team. I feel like it, like I said, it's got a lot of tools. There's a lot I can do with it. I'm looking forward to using it. So. I hope that you will watch the draft league and I have rambled on for 40 minutes now. I thought I went through it really quickly, but turns out I didn't. So, see you week one for a battle. Bye bye.